or anything like that. I also haven't got my suit on, so I'm not asking for any money. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> uh, basically, we thought it was a good time being a joint service, and also the fact just before the summer break when people are off on their holidays, just to give a, a short statement, very short statement. Believe it or not, we are due to start a new stewardship campaign in February or March 2019, with the new three-year cycle starting in September 2019. Therefore, the finance and property team thought that it would be a good idea for me to give a very brief interim statement of our finances and the property situation. Uh, I don't wish to bombard church members at this time with a lot of figures, you'll be pleased to know. Um, but just to give an overview of where we are at present. At the end of this year's third quarter, i.e. the 31st of May, we have a total reserve of just over £17,000. We continue to just about cover our quarterly circuit assessment, of just over £24,000, from our stewardship giving, which of course is our first priority. Lettings continue to be strong and will exceed £10,000 this year, and this together with donations and other income will continue to cover our various utility bills and allow funds for the various ministerial areas to continue their work. In the nine months to May 2018, income totals 110000 with expenditure at 107000 and it's always pleasing to see income exceeding expenditure. However, at this point, I would just like to add a touch of caution. Although our total reserves are 17,000, the circuit state that ideally we should be trying to aim for a reserve of twice our quarterly assessment as a contingency. This would amount to somewhere in the region of 48,000 pounds, and at present would be impossible to achieve, although one quarter may be a more realistic target figure. Stewardship income has fallen over the last year or so, mainly due, sadly, to a number of members passing on and also reductions due to personal circumstances. With regards to the various properties that make up LMC, we are experiencing issues regarding the age of the building, which is only to be expected. We are looking to replace and upgrade all the lighting in the Wesley Hall, together with upgrading all our fire doors and emergency lighting to bring them up to current day standards. Once figures are known for the cost of this work, we will be in a better position to draw up our long-term budget. So in conclusion, I would wish to thank members for their continued support and highlight again that alongside many of our fellow churches, we are in a relatively strong position with regards to our finances but with no room for complaints. Thank you.